finally this engine is done and um, if you remember this engine suffered uh, mechanical issues and someone did a bad job and at the time I did this engine I had this other engine right next to me then was another engine then have a major damage then was caused for a driver so here I have the two trucks the same trucks than I had when I um, started these videos and they're here completely fixed both of the engines are completely done except for this one this one is on, put it on the side uh, so both of the engines are completely done and they're ready to go back to work this one already did like 1000 miles over the road this one is just barely done so it's going to go to the road so both of the engines were done at the same time with different components these ones has most mostly used components this truck over here the one is on my left on my uh, it has mostly new components so that is the difference and that is what we have here both of the engines are working smooth with no problems and that is the way it's supposed to be and uh, the cost of the repair is completely different this one costed around like like around 18,000, 16, 18,000, something like that, in, in total of the repair. Uh, major overhaul, cylinder pistons are new, um, connecting rods, uh, we have them there too, and uh, crankshaft is used, cylinder block is used, it's over a damage, and cylinder head is used and other components are used it's mostly gaskets and stuff like that so uh compared to this one then we have over here this black one uh then it costed around like twenty seven thousand uh, dollars there is a big difference there is uh, over ten thousand dollars more in expenses uh the uh, the cost of the repairs vary on your budget in this case the owner of the truck didn't have the budget to afford brand new parts on all the components in the case of this truck the owner of the truck didn't have the budget actually because nobody has the budget but he was okay doing it paying liter by liter the repair so in the uh, what i'm saying is that he, uh, in the way of doing the work he was giving money to do to buy these parts to buy these parts to buy that part to buy that part instead of paying paying it at once because he didn't have that kind of money so uh it is a different way to work with different customers but uh, these engines are completely ready uh we know then uh probably this engine is not going to have the same um performance the same uh uh, durability as this one because uh, this one has used parts used components this one has pr pretty much almost new components and and uh, that is going to vary in the long term in the short term it's not going to vary at all everything is going to work normal uh, this one probably is going to have problems after five years maybe maybe not this one probably is going to have problems after seven years Two years more is probably is going to worth a little more money but uh, that is going to depend on your budget as I say because not all uh, the uh, trucks are going to have the same amount of money to spend and, uh, and the customers are not going to have the budget to repair the truck so that's that's why you as a mechanic you gotta suggest the best ways depending on the budget of each uh, client so uh, the repair gotta be the same it won't vary when if you have used parts on these ones won't vary the performance on this one it has to be the same way it won't actually change the way the engine works it has to be the same way so if you put used parts and then uh something is grown that means then the used parts you bought they're not good but uh if you buy good used parts they are going to be in a good condition so that means that the engine is going to work normal there's no going to be problems at all those are the precautions that you are going to have because uh, many of you think that if you put used parts basically you are going to destroy the engine but it's not the case because we have this engine here and to prove that I want to try to start it so you can hear it you see <laughs>
You can clearly hear that the engine works normal, no problems at all, engine running smooth, uh, no sounds, no uh, checking in light on, no uh, weird noises here and there, everything normal. And so this one does the same. So it is not, the, the, the quality of parts can actually vary on the durability of the truck, of the engine, uh, that is only the case, but it's not going to uh, vary on when you put everything together. So if the parts are in a good condition, it's not going to change because many of you are going to think, oh, because I use, use parts on my engine, the engine didn't even last the first start. As soon as I started, the engine broke. So that is not the case. That is because, or either the mechanic, or if you are the mechanic, you did something wrong, or the parts were in a bad condition and you didn't inspect them properly before installing them. That's how, it is. I mean, there is no other way. So that's the reason why it's very important to inspect everything before you put it inside the truck, inside the engine. Um, uh, as I say, I mean, like uh, the result is going to be the same, nothing matter what type of parts you use. The result is going to be that this engine is going to run smooth. This engine is going to run smooth using different parts. Labor is pretty much the same, and both of the engines are running now, are alive. So these engines are gotta, gotta go. So uh, basically, I'm done with these trucks right now. This one gotta go in a different direction. Probably this truck, are no, I am not going to see it again. But this black truck is someone that I know for over 10 years. So uh, it's someone that I'm gonna be seeing um, over here. So it's not something that I'm going, uh, probably I'm gonna, you wanna see another video. I actually did another video talking about some uh, electrical components on, under the transmission. Then I did a video about it on this truck. Uh, and uh, that's some probably I can do another videos too, but this one probably I won't. So it is a truck in camp, and uh, it, it probably has got to go somewhere else and never see it again. But uh, you can clearly see the results are the same. You already see this engine working many times. So, and this one is the first time you see it working. So uh, the result is going to be the same. It won't vary at all. Uh, uh, it is very important that you as a technician are going to have the good uh, labor uh, because that is going to be the most important part of putting all these components together. If you have good experience putting all these components together, this engine is going to work perfectly. And that is what you are going to look after. So uh, I, I give these trucks uh, completely uh, done. I mean, these trucks are completely ready to go. And I'm probably, I'm never gonna do anything about these, uh, rep these engine overhauls or nothing like that on these trucks. If I do again, it's because there's a problem with them. But if I don't, that means then, you know, you're never going to see them again. So um, uh, if you wonder, you have anything, questions, something to add about this, you know, used versus new, depending on uh, how your experience, probably you have experiences about used parts, probably you install used parts on your truck and suddenly the engine broke. So if you have all that, comment on the, on the section below, uh, that way we can all have these uh, type of uh, experiences uh, known by you, because uh, uh, having engines repair is, is very is something very uh, interesting to see how the engine repair goes but it is more interesting to see what type of parts you use and, and how the engine is running as i say these are used parts and this is brand new parts so it is something that is completely opposite and uh, the result is going to be the same as i say the durability of the uh, of the engine in the long term is what is going to vary it is not what the engine performance is going to be. So that is something very important that all of you gotta keep on mind. If something goes wrong, assembling the engine, that means then either it's the parts that were wrong or the mechanic, the labor of the mechanic was wrong. If you wanna send support to the channel, be sure to check the description of the video, I have details how to send support to the channel. Create a content like this for all of you is a uh, required time for me. But uh, if you don't want to, you can subscribe to the channel. It's very important. Like the video, share it with anybody that wants to learn more about these trucks. And thank you for watching.